when we are good person, it seems that it is something we can proud of, and wish the end result can bring us into a better place in the future. But who tell us that thing we are doing is good or bad? But who keep the record of how much we are doing good or bad? But who have power and authority move us to a better place after we died? But who can have assurance to guarantee us we can get what we wish for? It all seems that we need God who is doing the works of reference, judgment, majesty, power, and promises. Majority of people like to become good man or good woman. But where the standard of good comes from? What level of goodness can qualify us as good people? Is our goodness is really can bring assurance of good life in the future? Even our behavior and thinking meet all the requirement of goodness, we still need God, because we need Him give us all the essential supply for our life on earth. We also have to rely other resources, creatures, plants to survive in this world. In our life, we really can't take God out of our life picture. Everybody on earth can create their own truth and define their own goodness. Our standard is different from the standard of others, so our good may be equal to others not so good. Sometime good people do bad things and bad people also do good things, we don't have clear definition of good person. Maybe we are good in some way, but have bad thinking in other way. Maybe we have excellent skills, but it is hard to get along with other people. Maybe we have the intention of love, but it sometime make others uncomfortable. Maybe we want our children move up, but instead of encourage them, we discourage them. Once we do some good deed, we like to boast about it, just because of most people are doing bad deed. In this wicked world, people who are doing good deed become so rare in our society. But according to God's standard, we are created to do good deeds, being a good person is not the deciding factor for God's salvation. God don't look at how much we are doing good work, but look at how much we are willing to do it. People look at outside result, God look at inside heart. God don't look our destiny, but look at our journey. We are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. Ephesians 2 verse 10 God is our moral standard, he is our unchanging reference point, without this standard, people can't tell what is good from bad. Actually when God created human, the humanity basic duty is doing good deed, same thing as we have to eat and drink, nothing good which we can proud of. Therefore, if anyone cleanses himself from what is dishonorable, he will be a vessel for honorable use, set apart as holy, useful to the master of the house, ready for every good work. 2 Timothy 2 verse 21, we can't said we had achieved the perfect goodness, all we do is head to the direction of holiness, use our ability to do the best we can. If earth is going to destroy completely overnight, even the good, rich, and famous people are not going to be here tomorrow. Human can't save ourselves, so we need God's salvation to save us from perishing. Human are learning in different field of knowledge, making progress in human development, we need God's grace and mercy to do these things. Human don't set the rules to live in nature, God set the rules for human to live in nature. God set the rules for salvation, God set the rules for judgment, 
human as his creation can't change God's rules. We have to obey nature laws to live, so we have to obey God's rules to survive. As long as we are good person, it is good for people act this way, but we still need God's provision. Good person don't have ability to save themselves from the curse of this wicked world, we still need God's salvation. The reason of why do I need God, is simple, because we are created in the image of God, living under God's grace, human can't live without God's involvement in our life, and true God want to have personal relationship with us.